Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Hydraneer, the game full of bridges and fish needles. You've probably seen this before, it's the game where you dig dirt, put it in a bucket, empty that bucket into a pan, add water into the same pan, then use a brush to give it a good old scrub and you get gold. Oh wait, that's not gold, that's iron. Well, you actually get a range of resources. You can then come to the store where you can sell it for four quid. Thank you. You can then use that money to buy a range of different things to help you, such as conveyor belts, smelters and a whole host of tools which have now been upgraded to tier three that means we can go deeper and therefore get more gold than ever before however looking at these it seems they require a new resource what is that red stuff a core stone harvester i'm guessing core stone is a new resource so if we head up to this claim this was my super oh man there's so many resources here there's so many resources here this was my super simple sorting machine essentially now, and how it worked if we go down here this is what i all dug out i dug this out by hand remember now we have the tier one level mining machines here basically they won't dig dirt any deeper than they are now so these are what fueled my mining empire however if we head down the conveyor again down here we have our line of tier two mining machines so these all collect dirt they go onto the conveyor belt that conveyor belt goes all the way around here all the way up to the sky so then it comes out there onto there where it's sorted into various different parts where we we make lots of nice bars and yeah, then the gemstones i'm pretty sure yeah they come around there and drop into that where they're all crushed into one thing however we're gonna need to i assume add another sorter arrangement so we can get this new resource on the go not even sure if it exists but essentially once we do that we'll be able to go and mine way down here which i did actually start setting up yeah, so this is the deepest depths of the of the map where we should find the biggest gold so i guess first let's fire this thing up by doing that there we go we are running now and i guess we wait and see what sort of dirt is going to come up so there's the dirt all right so we've got the sources here so we've got the shards going that way the iron should go up there gold's going up there clautium which is very rare whether it's more rare than this new resource i don't know should come down here so i guess we sort of just stand here and wait and see if any come past what was that that was that was a gem in the meantime i'm going to draw a cup of tea out of my architect tears mug oh it tastes so much better out of this mug you can get your own at realcivilengineer.com Oh, hang on, hang on. There's a red. There's a red. Is that? I don't think that's a gem. What is that? Core stone ore. We found one already. A nugget of core stone can be melted into a crucible, into a bar, or sold to the jeweler. Nice. <laughs> Nice. So I guess let's turn this off and make some amendments. So open that hatch up. So let's get to work. Essentially, I think, do I just need, I only need two squares wide to do all this. So I can just move this down by two, I guess. So we'll just move all these pipes over to here. Use this magnet to get these gems out of the way. Don't ask the logic behind that. Then use our stockpile of pipes to add these to there and there where we can add another sorter. And then if we just shove some straight conveyor conveyors in between and i think we've got a system that should work i just need like a little crucible down here yeah, i could do the auto smelter setup but honestly as simple as this thing was can't be bothered to do the entire setup yet i just want to see what these actually look like so i've just grabbed a smelter let's just shove that oh i guess it's got to go down there sort of in in the ground not ideal hang on where's my pickaxe okay here it is so we'll just give that a little bit of a boost there we go then we can get to it pretty easy if we need okay so let's turn this back on oh but first i need to i need to make my sorter work so you mr core stone we shove you on there that should mean the sorters hang on why is there there's movement there but not here have i oh no don't say there's not enough water pressure anymore there's not enough water pressure so we have a pressure of 248 here let's just take this and shove it over this side 238 okay so if we take that off what is it here zero zero okay so what is it on that one then 212 what is this clogged up is there something inside there why actually what the hell these aren't hollow are these meant to be not hollow i've never actually looked down the end of a pipe i thought it would be a bit rude but oh no look they are they're not actually hollow weird but yeah there should be there should definitely be water coming out there maybe do i just need to take that off and replace it again zero what how can the pressure just go from 212 to zero i don't understand yeah there's a lot of resources piling up as well i should probably go turn this off I figure it out. Okay, looks like looks like I got it to work. It was just a broken T pipe for some reason, but I've replaced it. So 212 there. Now we've got 
210. Okay, nice. We're back in business. So let's shove these back on there. We'll say clear all raw resources. Boosh, see you later, guys. And then hopefully if we see a red boy come out of this. Right, I've been staring at this for ages now. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Right, that's one. That's one. Right. Okay. So it's going to head along here and hopefully it'll make it all the way to the end before it's separated. Now go right. Yes. Uh, but unfortunately, we have the same issue. There's no water coming out there. Oh, that's that was actually my bad. I forgot to use a T junction there. Hang on. Uh, I can't remember which one was the broken one. I think it was it that one. Was it that one? I don't know. There's a nice easy test though. We can just head around this side and yeah, see if there's water dripping out. That means it's running. So if I were to shove that back on there, it should go right. Nice. So then they're all being dropped into there where I can melt them into a bar. Look, core stone bar. So this is what we need in order to make those new machines. So I think we'll just leave that doing that for a while. Oh, hang on, what? what's going on here? Why are you all bouncing up and down? Let me catch that. So this is a Cloutium ore. Why aren't you being... Ah, not being sorted because for some reason you're not ended up on there. Okay. All right, so that is all sorted. We've got the rainbow gems at the end just bouncing about. I don't... I think it's because do these I think you need to sort like by each gem now. I think they updated the gemstone thing like last update. Um and I haven't actually got around to like adjusting this thing to work for it yet. But anyway, details, details. As long as we're making this new core stone resource, I'm a happy boy. So in the meantime, you might be wondering, well, Matt, what did you need all of these bars for? Like, there's a lot of them. And I'm sure as a lot of you will know, generally you use the bars to make like different things. So you can use iron bars if we shove them on there. Uh, once it's been heated up in the furnace of course we can then use this to make different recipes so if we add two iron bars we can say right shove you on there shove you on there we can then give it a whack with this hammer and uh, 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 what do you mean huh i thought that's how this worked maybe they just needed to be heated for longer so they are now red hot shove them on there give them a whack and then i don't know game is why, why are you saying no game why right, maybe i just wasn't accurate enough with my placement so one bar there two bars there then Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, that's how you do it. Read the instructions, Matt. So now we have this axe, which we can sell. Oh, look, it actually tells you in the bottom left. It tells you exactly how much iron is in it. Oh, that's decent, that. But yeah, essentially, this is worth more than the two bars that were put into it. So that's generally how you make more money in this game. But of course, I didn't make this many bars just to make a few axes and to make some money. What I actually needed them for was to fix this hideous monstrosity, which unfortunately has been graffitied with an incorrect bridge review score. But yeah, you might remember I made a load of bridges. So we've got the gem bridge over here. We've got the golden shard cable stayed bridge, which annoyingly the devs have blooming put a tree in the middle of. We've got the pike creek bridge made of hundreds and hundreds of fish, which one of the developers didn't rate apparently. And then my last video, we made this. The Carrot Arch Bridge. Because yes, you can also farm in this game. So I spent hours and hours creating the Carrot Bridge. <laughs> oh, good times. And if you did download the mod, the like RC Bridge mod, you may notice down here we've got like wooden supports. That wasn't actually part of the bridge initially. Yeah, basically Itchy, the dev that made this, uh, he, he deleted too much of my bridge. Silly boy. But it's all good. It's still standing. So looking good. Uh, I am worried though a new ore will mean a new bridge needs to be built. Let's hope that that isn't the case. Yeah, but as I've left this running for a while, look at all the gems. <laughs> There's so many gems. Um, I feel like we could probably pour this out and uh, well, we'll try and get one of the new pieces of mining equipment. So we'll shove this in the boot of this truck and then we will go for a spin. So we just go around here, park up here, take this out the boot and then we just head inside and we can jump down avoiding the lift. Then in here, if we come over to this giant anvil, these are all the ones I created earlier. These are like the little icons. Uh, but if we shove that in there, wait, is there already? I think there's already resource in there. Hang on. Yeah, can I just pull that lever to get the bar back? Yeah, okay, so down here, I think we have Cloutium and Iron, is that? Yeah, Iron Bar, Cloutium Bar. Okay, that, that's the change from when I did this last time. So I think if I put the Iron Bar next to our new Core Stone Bar, I can head back to Tools and Equipment and then buy some of these Tier 3 things. So they cost, oh, not that much, only like a 1,000, 2,000 each. So that's the drill. I'll need a few of them. And then that's the Harvester. I think I only need one in my setup. So we'll go buy both of them. And then all we've got to do is bring it over to this anvil, shove it on there. And then as long as we have 600 weight and 200 weight of Cloutium, which I think we should do because we left it running for quite a while. But we'll just put it in there with the iron. Oh wait, no, the iron doesn't want to go in. Oh, it's Cloutium as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's not iron, it's Cloutium. Let me catch that. There we go. So my Cloutium bar is here. So we'll shove that in. And then when we pull this lever, 
we should. Yes, we've got the harvester. Okay, so that goes there. So that is perfect. We then just need to put these back into the smelting pot. So they're both in. Uh, by the drill masterwork design. Then we take that one off because we've already got a harvester. We shove the drill on. And then hopefully we have enough resource that we can get another boosh going. Ready? Boosh! Yes, there it is. So that is the drill. Blooming hell, it's actually got like a pointy drill bit on the bottom. So that is one drill for our setup. I wonder, can we can we get any more out of this? Come on. What? Yes, I can actually get another one. No way. Okay, sweet. That's probably all we can afford. So we'll take all of these back to base. So we just drive these back to base. Hang on. What was that? Hang on. Hang on a second. What did I just spot over there? It looked like a crane. It is a crane. Was that always there? Right, wait there. I've got to go check this. Oh my God. Max has actually learned how to build a truss. Look, there's triangles up there. <laughs> I never thought this day would come. Now, I do wonder though, what's actually, what's on there? Anything up there? Just bits of like slaty stuff. Okay, is this just, this might just be a bit of architecture. I thought it was actually going to be useful, but I guess not. So I guess we'll head back to, hang on. What are they? What are they? Vehicles. Whoa, what is that? The hydro mold. Oh, I want it. I need it. And what is this one? It's a hydro prospector. Oh, you can, oh, no way. You can actually drill like little bores to try and find ore veins. What? What has this game done? Okay, well, both of these cost a lot of tea and that's not quid. Tea for twid? What's a twid? Looking at the icon, they have some sort of weird symbol. It sort of looks like, I don't know, like an iron giant with like a flame between his legs. Does anyone else see that? But he's got really long arms. Well, perhaps there is a new currency in this game and we need to find it. Oh, hang on, hang on. Spend your tokens hit. Oh, look, look at this. Oh, look. Core stone hydro pipes. There's, there's tier three pipes. Okay, how do I get them? What is this? A logic saw hook cuts resources down to required size. Oh, look, there's a hard hat. Prospecting helmet finds nearby or they... Oh, man, I need it. How do I get twid? Game, why don't you ever explain how I'm meant to do any of this? Because yeah, look, this stock market thing, that gives you C quid. Whereas we need T twid. I mean, in the farming update, there was these people that gave quests. No, they still want soup. I'm done with my soup journeys. Oh, here we go. Look, he wants, is that an iron block of two weight? By the way, incredible, incredible haircut slash beard you've got going on there. Uh, I might have to try that out myself. Looks quite good. Anyway, so he wants two weight of iron ore and it will give me 53 guild tokens. <gasps> oh, okay. Okay. Right. Well, well, I should probably take that with me, actually, just so I don't forget. So I've come all the way back to my truck. I will just shove that in the boot and then we'll drive to our claim. I'll tell you what, I might be able to do that straight away because we've already got the tier two set up. So we'll park there. Oh, no. Oh, no. I left this running. I left this running. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's turn it off and then we can grab a piece of iron. I should have some scales somewhere around it. So how much does this lump of iron weigh off? Oh, is that four? 4.27? Okay, I'm just going to go take this to the dude. All right, so I've got your iron. I've got your iron. There you go. He's looking at my iron. Does he like it? Yes. Nice to do business with you, mate. You carry on. Enjoy your mooching about. I'm going to go spend... Well, I'm not going to spend this. It's probably not enough. But yeah, if I plonk that in there, we've got 54. What do these... Oh, man. 200, 800. Oh, so much. What does the helmet cost? 430. Oh, oh look. There's all new tools. Tier 3 tools. But yeah, I feel like I want the prospecting helmet first to find nearby ore veins. I don't even know what that is, but I want it. So do you have some twid to give? No, that's soup. I don't I don't do soup anymore. I've moved on. Oh, look, look. This guy, I think, does he want a ring with 34 gold and 8.5 gems in it? Yes, he does. 476 tokens. Okay, I'm on it. I mean, luckily, I should be able to do this fairly quickly because I'm pretty sure all of these weigh 100 each, right? Yep. The joy of automating everything to give you the perfect weight. So he wanted a big old emerald. I guess I'll just go with the super big one. So what does that weigh? 13. Slightly overpaying, but whatever. So the gem goes there. The heated bar goes there. And then we give it a whack. Boosh. We've got the man's ring. So if we return to him, we should be done in no time getting that. So 176. Thank you very much. I can go add that to my pile. And now we've got 229. So we've just got to repeat that for a few more hours and then we'll be able to buy some stuff. And whilst that's going on, I do want to set up this tier three stuff. So they're the drills. That's the, this is the harvester. So I think all I need to do is replace this harvester. So you get out and let's hope the devs have been clever here by making it the same layout. So we've got a pipe on the side and the scoop on that. So pipe left, scoop right. So this one, where's the scoop? Scoop. There we go. Scoop left. 
pipe. Devs, why? <laughs> so I've got to change my entire setup because I can't have water pipe on that side. It's got to be on this side. Oh, cheers, devs. Yep, cheers. Appreciate that. So you move that to there. Shove that down there. This was the broken one. I don't know whether it's still broken. I will try. But that should mean everything works fine now. Oh, no, I don't, I don't need a T. I don't need a T. I just need a corner. So we'll swap, put a corner in and we'll turn it on. And then hopefully, wait, why did nothing work? Oh, is that because this is the broken? T okay, that's the broken T. So we'll put this one in. Yes, everything's running. Okay, so that should give us, well, it might not change anything for now, but I think it's the only way to process like the lower down ore, the tier three ore. So we'll grab this and then we'll head over to this big hole and we're literally just going to jump all the way to the bottom. And then and this is going to go down here at the very depths of the mine. Where's the in where's the intake? Does it not take water? Oh, it's on the top. Okay, it's on the top. Oh, I'll tell you what I could do, actually. I could shove it literally there and then just swap that piece, swap that corner with a T, which presumably I've got, yeah, down here. So if I just rotate this like that, shove these conveyors back on, and then, ah, slight issue is, oh, we're gonna have to move, oh, we're gonna have to move everything. I forgot I built this layer on top of the platform. Oh, that's annoying. So I'm pretty sure I can't even dig this material. Yeah, it's completely rock solid. I need the T3 drill. I originally did this, I think I bought a load of nukes. That's how I built this massive hole. Uh, but there's too much stuff down here to nuke. It's a bit of a safety hazard. So I guess I need to do tokens to get the tier three pickaxe so I can make a bit of space so I can move all this over a couple of nodes. So after busting my balls for a few hours, we can finally afford to buy a few of these things. So that's 430. We'll shove that on there as well as the, the advanced pickaxe for 1240. So that's a total of 1670. So boosh. I can then wear the hat. What are they? <laughs> Are they like gear cog goggles? Anyway, we can grab this as well. Then we're ready to go mining. So not sure how this hat works. I was expecting to like be able to see like some veins perhaps. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Anyhow, I should be able to... Yes, I can dig this out now. Okay, so let's just make some room so I can move these conveyors back. Oh, I forgot how slow digging with this is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can probably see why I use a nuke now. I mean, actually, even, even this is taking too long. I'll tell you what. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Give me a few more hours. I'm going to go do a few more quests, and I'll be back with something a bit more interesting. Yep, here we go. <laughs> I bought the hydro bowl. I'm not wearing anything apart from pants, I've just remembered. But yeah, right. Let's drive this thing back to our base. It's actually pretty quick, to be honest. It's got quite a slow turning circle, but uh, I am not going to complain. So yeah, we'll drive this over the stone arch bridge and look in the background. That's all my farming area. We had some good times there growing the carrot bridge. Uh, one thing I am worried about, we're not even back at the claim yet. And look in front of me. I think that's the fuel tank because everything takes water in this game. And uh, that looks pretty empty to me. Not ideal. Still, we made it back to our claim just about. I do, I think I am going to fill this up with water before I go too far. So oh, I need to, I need to, I need to start turning this thing off because <laughs> my frame rate is going to be in trouble. There's so many gems. Right, yeah, turn off. We just need to slightly tweak these pipes. Like one more, one more pipe. There we go. So that should be filling. Oh, it's still missing. Okay, <laughs> move it forward very slightly. Yes, that's filling up the fuel tank. Okay, we're done. That's all it needed. Just a bit more fuel. Okay, we'll just quickly put these back and then uh, let's drive this thing down that hole, I guess. <laughs> This is going to end in tears, right? Geronimo! <laughs> uh, oh no, I'm stuck on the wall. I'm stuck on the wall. Wait, I'm driving. What the hell? I'm driving on the wall. Right, we're nearly down. We're nearly down. Oh, wow. I massively underestimated how big this thing was. Uh, I'll tell you what, though. It's almost in the right spot. So if I just turn on the blades. Oh, look at that. Oh, that really dug out loads. Yes, dig. Dig, my pretty. Okay, I'm not sure you're meant to be doing this on the side. But, um, I mean, if it's working, who am I to argue, really? Okay, right, we're down. We're down, which means we can dig. Oh, man, this thing is a pro... Look at the tunnel. Look how far it's going. Oh, I'm actually in love with this thing. This is so cool. So, yeah, I can really clear out some space underground. Oh, look at this. Look at this thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm absolutely loving this. Best thing they've added to this game, in my opinion. Anyway, I did actually get distracted. The reason I bought this thing was to make some space over this way. So let's just dig over here. Nice. That looks good. So now I can move all of these conveyors back a few spaces and then plumb in all of this stuff. And then we should have a tier three set up. So I'll see you in a minute. 16 paranoia filled days later. All right. So took a bit of building, but I think we're done. I just need to plumb in the other 
drill, but I think we're all good. I've just got to make sure that this like connection works because it looks like on the edge of this conveyor, there's like a bar there. Whether that will stop all this dirt, don't really know. But let's head up and try and find out. I, I just fell down. So close this up and then everything should run as normal. So we're here, down here. And then, oh yes, look, the dirt is going along. The only trouble is it's going up the side. So is that going to be an issue when we get up here? Yes, it is. Look, all the dirt's getting clogged there. Okay, I have a slight fix because there is another type of conveyor. Let's just turn this off. We can use one of these, a centralizer hook. So what I'm thinking, if I swap that one which is like a it's like a shredder hook i mean i could just put a shredder like i could shove that on there that would be fine but then put the centralizer on there that should push all these into the middle so you can see as these come along the side they're being pushed into the middle okay sorted meanwhile down here this isn't working but that's because i haven't turned it on yet i've now turned it on <gasps> there's our first bit of dirt tier three dirt. So I guess I just bring down the other drill and then we have twice as many. And then hopefully if we head to the top, we should be able to do a little comparison. I'll tell you what, actually, I might go do that now. So if I just drop down here, so this in my hand is a tier one piece of dirt. I'm going to shove that there. We can then grab a bit of tier two dirt from that and then grab a tier three bit of dirt. Oh, now I was convey it. Yeah, grab a tier three bit of dirt, take this to the surface. So then we can see how each of these work in terms of getting different size resources out. So I think to start with, let's just remove that. Yes, that's paused everything. Okay, so tier one dirt, you go in. Let's see what size ore comes out. So that is a tier one piece. We'll shove that there. The tier two has gone in. So we'll put that next to it. Oh yeah, you can see it's bigger already. And then the tier three, I really hope this is iron because then that'll be a very nice test. Oh, it's gold. Stupid gold. But oh man, look how much bigger that is. So if we take this to the scales, tier one gives us three in weight worth 28. Tier two gives us, oh, 4.2. 3, 7, worth 39. I'm just trying to find another tier 3 that's iron. Oh, it's stupid gold. Right, so here we go. So 4.37 worth 39 hydro coins. How does the tier 3 compare to that? 5.13 worth 46. I mean, it's not actually that much better, to be honest, but it is better, that is for sure. So we are going to be adding a lot more of these drills to our system, and we're going to be rich, which means I can spend my time just drilling around in this thing, I guess. Yes, for now, I'll say peace, love, and getting rich in your pants. Bye. Bye, guys.